Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. So I wanted to do a video uh, based off a conversation that I had the other day with an individual. Um, this individual is a friend of mine. Uh, he does watch the channel, but he almost never comments. I've only seen a couple comments. And we were talking about silver, gold, precious metals, what's going on in the banks. He had seen something, an interesting article um, about the banks, and he wondered for a minute. You know, he had heard me say before that my thoughts on gold and silver, and he kind of talked to me and wanted to kind of get some more insight on what I thought was going on, basically. And he said, it's kind of like what you had said years ago. And I said, well, did you ever pick up any silver? And he said, not really. I mean, I picked up one coin maybe here or there, but nothing really. Um, and I said, well, what's the reason for it? And, oh, before I go on any further, please take a quick minute, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Only because I always forget to say that in every video, but I'm supposed to. Because um, we are trying to grow the channel. And they say, YouTube says that's a big factor. If you ask your subscribers to hit that subscribe button, most of the time they will. Because it costs nothing to hit that subscribe button. And it really helps out the channel. So... So he had went on to explain to me after I'd asked him, have you picked up any precious metals? Um, he said, you know, I, I don't bother because I, I don't really know if I want to put a lot of money all at once into it. And it's just so, you know, I mean, you're talking one coin now, you know, 26, 27, maybe even $28, depending on where you're getting it from. Um, and and I said, and, and I can understand that. I said, but when we first talked about it, it was only $16, $17. What was the reason then? He goes, well, I just didn't really believe in it. But now I believe because look at what's going on. And now uh, we saw the whole Silicon Valley Bank. We've seen the um, a couple banks go down. But then the big one was Credit Suisse. Now we have Dutch... Uh, what was the other one? Now I forgot the name of their bank. Darn it. But there's another one that they're doing emergency meetings on today. Um, and, you know, this just keeps going on and on. And so he went on to tell me, you know, so I, I don't really want to put a lot of money in all at once. You know, and, and I said, I understand that. He goes, you know, maybe you are on a better financial budget. You've already been buying, so you're up. So it's not like you could even take a hit if you started buying at 16, 17. I said, and that's true. It would be hard to see silver take a big fall that I would lose money at this point because with dollar cost averaging, technically all I can do now is average my stack up, essentially. Um, but what I went on to say was it does make a difference getting started. Uh, getting started is hard. Getting started means you've got to give up something to get something, to add something to your collection and start building up today. This is not financial advice. This is just uh, my opinion and me talking to a friend, essentially. And so I said to him, I said, you know, get started now. Put in a, a small order somewhere. You know, why, whoever you like. Or, or just go and pick up. Go to the pawn shop, pick up a couple things. Go to a coin shop in your area, pick up a couple things. Talk to him. You don't have to get a lot. He goes, but I'm not going to have enough that it will make a difference. And I said, you would be surprised if you start stacking up, because, you know, it may only be two ounces today. You're out 50 bucks this week. And then next week, it'll be a little bit more. And then, you know, you might pick up, you might double up maybe. Maybe even next month. Who knows? And before you know it, you've, you've got something. And as time goes on, you're going to want to keep acquiring and acquiring. And the more you believe in something, the more you're going to put to it. And here's the thing. Silver's interesting because the more people are buying it, eventually uh, it does form a squeeze. It's it's literally squeezing the system because there's not really enough silver. Some people will be like, oh, there's plenty of silver in the world. And there may be a lot of silver still in the ground. There may be a lot of silver. But think about all the stuff that we use silver for. And as time goes on, the demand for silver, in my personal opinion, is only going to go up as we continue to see stuff move to a EV, electronic vehicles, as we see it go to uh, more solar, more solar power. Look at the new law they passed in California. They want all new houses to have solar panels on their houses. And little by little, 
each month. You're not, maybe you won't realize it. Maybe you won't even be buying this much in one month. You know, I mean, now we're getting into, you know, bigger stacks. Now at today's price, you're talking right there. That would be a minimum, I think, of roughly 230 bucks. That's 10 ounces right there in that stack. So, but little by little, you're going to be buying and you're going to see your stack slowly start climbing in an upward direction. And maybe you're going to move into generics. Maybe you're going to move into bullion. Maybe you're going to move into cooler coins like Britannia's, um, maybe Eagles. I mean, we got some people on that love Eagles on the channel. And we're going to see it just your stack continue. And one day you're going to look back because let's face it, this may not be the collapse. If you started collecting in 2008, then you're, you've got plenty of precious metals probably if you've been buying religiously every week. I hear more and more people on the channel say, you know, I'm, I'm with the prices coming up, it's getting harder and harder for me to meet my goal that I started off with at the beginning of the year. Yeah, because at the beginning of the year, we were seeing $20 silver. Now we're seeing, and that's at spot price, $20 silver. Now we're seeing $23 spot price. And essentially, the price just keeps getting higher and higher. You're actually going to probably see my package openings possibly decline as basically the prices just keep inching up. Um, I don't want to be motivated by fear. Like this banking crisis is it. This is the final straw that broke the camel's back. Because it may not be. They may paper over this and instill a confidence in people. They may collapse the dollar and move on to a new currency. They may get rid of cash altogether and move over to a CBDC. Some people don't realize what that would actually do. Some people tell me, well, even if they move to a CBDC and every dollar is a CBDC, then you have the same amount. If there's X amount of dollars, then there will still be X amount of CBDCs. But that's an incorrect statement. And the reason that's an incorrect statement is because when they first do this, if everybody changes their dollars in for CBDCs, there will not be the same amount of CBDCs. Why? Because there's money that's lost out there. There's money that's been lost. There's money that's been buried. There's money in maybe other countries uh, from illicit trades um, or whatever the case may be. That money is not going to be able to make it into the CBD central all at once. And if you only have 30 days to turn your money in, unfortunately, you can't move large amounts of cash into the CBDC. And then after that date, it expires. Now, what do you do? Now the money will be lost. And so we would see possibly inflation come down for a short while. But let's be honest, is government really going to stop printing? Or are they going to, are they going to get in check and, and, say, you know what, this is it. We're balancing the budget now. I really think, unfortunately, that the dollar is going to be like every other currency that the world has ever seen. And it's just going to basically fly by and be gone. Um, does it mean that there won't be a dollar in our lifetime? No, it don't mean that. <clears throat> you can look at countries in more recent times. Their money just became worthless. To where now it takes millions and millions and millions of dollars to get a loaf of bread. I had someone tell me one time, hey, if if you can uh, get 27 million Bolivar for one ounce of silver, why not take some silver, fly to, fly to Venezuela, take some silver with you, and sell it and get 27 million Bolivar for this? I said, because what am I going to do with it? He goes... Well, then you just go to a bank and convert it. I said, and when I bring it to a bank and I convert it, you know what the bank's going to give me? $25, $26. Because any currency, when you compare it to the dollar, yeah, it looks like maybe the dollar is stronger. From, for the most part, the dollar is stronger than most currencies. But they're all weaker than gold and silver. And once you realize that, you realize that gold and silver is the money. It's the big picture. You would have no hard time taking this and, and getting $25, $26. Maybe, maybe you wouldn't get $26. It, it depends, you know, how you, your condition of your coins 
where you take them. You could go to a pawn shop and a pawn shop might say, I'll give you 10 bucks for this. I mean, I took a uh, first year MS-70 American Silver Eagle San Francisco Mint to a pawn shop. And they said, I said, that's like one of the rarest American Silver Eagles. What can you give me? He goes, I can only give you 20 bucks for it. I said, it's PCGS grade. You can scan it and it scans at like 250. He said, I could still only give you 20 bucks for it. We don't really go by that. We just go by the metal. Um, that's a pawn shop. That's not a coin shop though. Uh, coin shops, you're going to probably get a little bit more, but person to person sales, you're going to get a lot more. Because at the end of the day, if anybody came to me with any of this and said, hey, I just need a little money to pay my electric bill. I need a little money to put food on my table. I, of course, I'm going to help them out because it really doesn't matter where you buy your metal from. What matters is that you're, one, getting a good deal, that you're being treated right, you're getting real metal. And then two, that essentially you understand, you know, you're stacking and you're accumulating. It's real money. And as you understand that, I think people do a whole lot better. This is literally a small savings account right here. This is an emergency fund right here. Um, and it ain't even really that much, especially when you're just putting in maybe an order for, you know, a little bit at a time. You guys have seen some of my package openings where I only have a, a handful of coins in there. And, you know, some people are like, ah, that ain't glamorous. And you're right, it's not. But I put in my order every week. I put in an order for something every week. Now, will I be? Will I tell you I never miss? Of course, I miss once in a while. Everybody misses once in a while. Something comes up, an unexpected bill. You overbought the dip last week, whatever the case may be, and that's it. You just skip a week and you get back on track. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you are subscribed to the channel because the majority of the people that watch these videos unfortunately are not subscribed. We put out as many videos as we can to try to talk to you about different stuff, usually comment based. So if you leave me a really good comment, I may um, use that comment um, in an upcoming video because it's important that we are a community and that we're helping out each other and we're kind of working with each other and answering questions. So that's what we're all trying to do is learn and be our own bank. So with that being said, I thank you all for watching. Hope you're subscribed. I hope you left me a comment and hit that thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm a little bit for YouTube. So thanks for watching everybody and y'all have a great day. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.